Good morning to all on this Thursday morning, March 26th. My name is Rose Duncan. I'm canon for worship at Washington National Cathedral, and I am joined by our priest associate and my colleague, Patrick Kieser. We welcome you and give thanks that you are worshiping with us this morning. And we begin our service with hymn 408, Sing Praise to God Who Reigns Above. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The psalm this morning is Psalm 69, verses 32, 34 through 37, beginning on page 681 in the Book of Common Prayer. The psalm will be prayed responsively by whole verse. I will praise the name of God in song. I will proclaim his greatness with thanksgiving. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his prisoners he does not despise. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves him. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah, they shall live there and have it in possession. A reading from the 49th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I have answered you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. I have kept you 
and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones.
Let us pray. O God, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, in this challenging and uncertain time, we offer our prayers on behalf of those in need, the church, and the world. For the church, that it may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ and serve as a beacon of hope to a suffering world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all affected by the coronavirus around the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may work together for the common good as the outbreak spreads. Grant public health and government officials in our country the strength and will to act with wisdom and compassion in service of all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus. Grant courage and strength to first responders and healthcare workers who, with hearts of service, stand on the front lines of providing care. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts. We pray for those suffering from financial hardship, that they may have confidence in your providence in the weeks and months to come. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, drive from us all weaknesses of body, mind, and spirit, that being restored to wholeness, we may with free hearts become what you intend us to be and accomplish what you want us to do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided, for your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is How Great Thou Art. <laughs>